I have to go through it. You know, when you get too old to do fun stuff like this, you're just too old. Well, I am kind of getting old. Oh my gosh. I love my job. Wait, you didn't come through. You walked around. That's cheating. <laughs> We're always looking for guys that want careers with water features. What do you think? You, think you might want to do this as oh, a yeah. job? For a career. I want to live the aquascape lifestyle. Hey, yeah, this is what I say. I love my job just like you. <laughs> I, all right. Always hiring great people. I like that sign, and that is absolutely the truth. We are always hiring great people. Finish this sentence. We hire for attitude, we train for altitude. Oh, I like that, but it's aptitude. We, aptitude. Train, we train for aptitude. aptitude. I don't have aptitude, apparently. <laughs> and here we are at Good Earth Water Gardens, Dan's house. That is also his showroom for his business, which is not unusual for a certified aquascape contractor. Show us around your little paradise. So customers actually come here, right? Yep. And you can, while they're here, they can go and see how you live the aquascape lifestyle and get inspiration for themselves, right? We'll show you around here. So big fountains right out front, the stack slate urns, and you mm -hmm. got some big pumps on them so that they really make a difference from the road. You can see it, right? Yes, indeed. So as you can see, we live off. It's not a major highway, but this is an area that probably gets a couple thousand cars to drive by every day. Uh -huh. So when I first moved here, Kevin and I were looking for a display to do, and then we kind of just came to the conclusion, hey, why don't we just make the display right here in the front yard? And then that way, everybody who's driving by can kind of see what it's all about. So That's that was right. the first one to go in. And right over there is where your shop right. is, right? That's the shop. So the guys come here every day, get uh -huh. started off. Uh -huh. That's right. Here's some a nice, beautiful, pondless waterfall over here. Nice. Hey, there's your brother. Wait, is it, or is this your son? <laughs> What's up, doing? Kev? Good to see you, buddy. Likewise. How you doing? Yeah, good, yourself? And I remember you from the Aquascape Academy, young man. Yeah. Connor? Jordan. Jordan. Jordan, good to see you, buddy. How long have you been with these guys? Coming up on two years. Yeah, good for you. So you like this work? Oh, yeah, for sure. And you know, I've been looking at some of your water features today, guys. Good work. Thank you, thank you. You know what, Kev? Why don't you show me around this? Because you built this, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, well, at least part of it. So this is not Dan. This is Kevin, the younger, better-looking brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So this one here, we wanted to kind of have the negative edge facing into our kitchen windows here. So yeah. We wanted to have a larger pond up above where we could do some fish and everything and still have that view where I could sit there and eat breakfast and mm -hmm. check it all out. When did you put this in? This is going on the third year now. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, we, we did it in fall, so this is the start of third season now. So how many total displays do we have here? Seven different ones. Seven. So you, you want to show even smaller ones like this that somebody could do, correct? Yeah, yeah. This is our little more run-of-the-mill 6x8 pond. Just wanted to kind of show people. It's even a little bit smaller than 6x8 because we bumped into one side for the waterfall. Uh, but, but that's a gorgeous waterfall. Yeah. You used to have a little diffuser, like horizontal up there? Or? It's actually a, it's one of the thousand series biofalls up there. Okay, so because it's a pond. Yep. yep but yeah, So that's pretty cool. This is a biological filter up here. Can you see it? I, I, a little bit of an edge right here, but this sedum is growing up. The rocks hide it. That's what your filter should look like. That's called properly hiding a biofalls. All right, so this is a small pond like this. What would something like this run from Good Earth? This is in a seven to eight thousand dollar range. So for seven to eight thousand dollars, you can have a custom one of a kind work of art water feature in your yard. All right, so you got this one. You got some basalt rocks over here. Nice fire area. Looks like you got some entertainment going on, possibly, <laughs> huh? Yep, yep. We were actually just burning some stuff earlier today. There's the remnants right there. We did the basalts just kind of as a gathering thing around here. Now, Scalloped urn. This scalloped urn here for our learn to build an urn day. You had customers out here. 
Yes. And yeah. then you could sell it to do-it-yourselfers, teach them how to actually do it. Yeah, just a little instructional day where just kind of see how it's all done and figure out if they wanted to try their hand at it. Is this an aqua basin down here? Yes, it is. So this is an aqua basin waterfalls. This is our smallest pondless waterfall that we offer. And what would a project like this run installed? Starting at four grand. So for $4,000, you can have a beautiful pondless waterfall just like this. There's an aqua basin down here. Once again, but look at how the landscaping just softens up the borders and the edges. Waterfall diffuser up there, right? Yep. The spillway, waterfall spillway up there. Okay, I have to go through it. You know, when you get too old to do fun stuff like this, you're just too old. Well, I am kind of getting old. This one's right out of Chris Sewing's head. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> I love my job. Wait, you didn't come through. You walked around. That's cheating. <laughs> we had to borrow that from Chris. We grew up in St. Louis, so that was something that we saw when we were kids, and we were like, you know what, that has to happen. So, and it also it gives you elevation for the berm behind the waterfalls. One of the ways to naturalize, we'll give you a tip here. Instead of having that berm go down, it goes all the way back out, and we put landscaping on it, and then high vertical elevation, it stops your eyes and makes you look at this gorgeous waterfalls right here. Wow, look at this. Tropical water lily. That's a night bloomer, right? Yep. a beach area these are the little things that an artist does big rock beach area little rock plants big rock log this is how you naturalize the edging of a water feature really good work Thank you. I love the spillway bowl they took a patio pond notched into it filled it with annuals Yep. Okay, some canna, coleus, and, and then the water flows up and it's part of the filter and you can see what, how it does for the water. I mean, that biofalls that's up there, this one down here, beautiful. Got some fish down there, some big koi swimming around. This is a showroom that people can come and you can actually walk them around and show them seven different water features, right? Certainly. Good to see you, man. Good Dan. I am. Okay, great. Hey, right. Good to see you. Alex? Yeah. The fun guy, great. Yeah, great. Yeah. So you're a YouTube, you like the YouTube channel? For the past like three years now, yeah. Hey, that's pretty cool. And Grandpa? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Hey, Ray, right, you brought him out. So, and how did you guys meet? What's going on here? I just, you just said there was a fan coming by. Well, there's a pond tour. And okay. We came down and this one was on it. And I asked him, looked like Aquascape products. And yeah. And just hey. started talking about it. Do you have a pond now? Yeah. Did you build it yourself mm -hmm. or? Okay. okay. DIY. So you like were watching like some of the YouTubers? Like who, how'd you find out? Uh, Paul Caffero. I saw on his YouTube channel when he built his own DIY pond and then he got a call from you and he, you came and built him a pond and that's how I found out about you. When did you build your pond? Before that or after that? Probably like a week after that. Okay. Yeah. That's how it always yeah, happens. Before the turtles. You got some turtles. What do you have? Like rider sliders? Uh, rider sliders, musk turtles, snapping turtles. Oh, oh wow. wow. A lot of turtles. So I got my start with turtles. So, hey man, this is what you have to look forward to. How old are you? 17. 17. I was 12 years old when I built it, and 38 years later, here's what I look like. <laughs> We're always looking for guys that want careers with water features. What do you think? You might want to do this as oh, a job? Yeah. For a career. I want to live the aquascape lifestyle. Hey, yeah, this is what I want to say. I love my job just like you. <laughs> hey, all right. And this is the future of our industry. We need guys like this. So we're driving around Kansas City, beautiful neighborhood, some big houses, you know, being built. And this is a water feature that you just put at the entranceway. Look at this. I don't think there's a single person that would come to this house and walk past this thing and not say something. I mean, that that's curb appeal right there. Beautiful house, water feature, and then I'm sure it's lit up at night, right, Dan? Sure is. <laughs> Stack slate urn. Is it on an aqua basin or aqua block? Aqua basin. So just a little basin down there. Around what size pump did you put in there? This is a 1500. So, so we kind of we kind of souped it up a little bit. What would a project like this from Good Earth run? This one was about 4500. So for under five thousand dollars, at the front of your house, you could have something that will set it off from all of the neighbors. Gorgeous work, buddy. How many years now have you been working with your brother? You were working with your dad before your brother, right? Yeah, this would be year five here with Dan. So we grew up together and 
kind of in the industry and everything and uh we always swore that we were never going to do this when we grew up <laughs> And what changed? You were a manager at a Culver's, right? I was managing at Culver's. Uh, I did that for about six years, and I just realized that that was not worth my time, and I hated doing it. So you'd rather get dirty and see what you've done that day versus pushing paperwork and frying fries. Yep, yep. And so after four or five years, him being on my case about it, I finally decided to jump out to Kansas City. And uh, when I came out, we were kind of like, if we're gonna do this, let's do it with water features and all the cool stuff, and not do all the stupid landscape where you're just like cutting stuff and breathing in concrete dust and all that all day so and, and what do you like about your career what i like about it is i'm not sitting at a desk <laughs> yeah you could tell that you do not sit at a desk <laughs> you get to work with your hands and every day's different right oh, yeah. what about the customers you know they just really are able to use and enjoy their space in a different way where it just really comes to life you know the plants and everything are nice and they're good to look at but you kind of glance it over and it's just you know on your way the water feature you know it's really interactive it brings you in it just allows you to really take in the setting and the experience. To be able to bring that into your customer's yard or wherever really, it's just a fun experience to be able to see how that uh, affects them and how, how excited they get over something like that. I think you hit the nail on the head. You can look at your, your trees and, and bushes and they're really pretty, but I don't think you're gonna stare at that for hours on end. I mean, water feature gives you that element that just mesmerized you and always something new to look at. And you're living the lifestyle yourself. You guys right. do fantastic work. Great team out here in Kansas City, Missouri area. And what's fun for me to go out and showcase is our customers is to actually, basically every one is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation. And the process to build it remains the same. They're all artists in their own regard. And we need more people. We need more certified aquascape counters that are committed to ponds done right, customer serve right. And we need more guys who want careers in this industry that want to work with their hands. You know, it's hard work. It's out there. You're dealing with the elements. But at the end of the day, there's a satisfaction that comes that you just can't get pushing paper sitting behind a desk if you're interested in the career opportunities with water features check out the link below to our website because we're always hiring people with the right attitude and we trade them for aptitude i love my art <laughs>